Stu and Pat have issues and an extra hour. This is the fourth hour. It takes an extra hour every day to clean up Glenn's mess. Yes. I mean, it really doesn't, that's really not even sufficient. No audio left uh, behind, Pat. Um, yeah. We will not let that happen, uh, especially when we have audio that's this <laughs> solid. Uh, this is, uh, FCC is now getting involved uh, in a fight over Glenn Miller's radio ads. Missouri Senate candidate uh, who is... Uh, I thought Glenn Miller was dead. Yeah, no, it's not the singer, oh. uh, I believe. Oh. Uh, if it is, he's he's taken quite a turn for the it's, worse. So it's not the band leader who who apparently died, you know, in uh, World War II. No, it's, I don't think it's him either. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Right. Uh, he's 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 got <laughs> so. a little curmudgeonly if if, if it's him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy is he's he's quite opinionated, and I don't know how to. We can go through and intro this and talk about this issue. How does the FCC get involved? Here's the thing on political ads, and this guy's running for office, right? Yes, the uh, Senate in Missouri. You can't edit a political ad. Yeah, there's a state, there's a an FCC law um, that says I think it's an FCC law. It could be a state law, um, but basically, radio stations cannot federal. edit. It's federal. Law. It is a federal law. Mm -hmm. Cannot edit. So we're like a lot of times, like if we get a ad from a car dealership. Um, you know, at a radio station, and uh, you, you know, it would come in when we were at a local radio station, and, and we and they'd say something that was like a little out of there, and we didn't really, you know, we we're like, yeah, I don't know about that. We'd call them and be like, look, you know, we need to change we're this. Not play we that. Can, we're not going to play it like this, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really the case with these with with political ads because it's protected speech, and obviously, it's you know yeah. specifically what the you know it's what it was really intended for, and it usually works great. I mean, that's you don't want political speech edited, right? Because that way, let's say Al Gore wanted to run a commercial and we didn't like it, we could change it if we wanted to, or edit it, or right. whatever. Right, and that's terrible, and that, nobody wants that. wouldn't that. be good. Or if a you know person, a candidate you like ran an ad on MSNBC, they could edit it or change it, take out something they didn't like. So that's against the law. You can't do that. Right. But in this case, <laughs> this guy pushes it. Right, he's pushing it to the edge. Past what um, yeah. most ever happens. And again, I would say I still don't want the FCC stopping these. You'll hear them here, and they're not good. They're very bad. But it's one of those things that I, you know, I want this idiot to keep talking. Yeah. To me, that shows just show, yeah, it sh shines light on the fact that he's an idiot. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to hear how much of an idiot he is, can I we will. start with, uh, with number, what was it, number three, I think? White men have become the biggest cowards ever to walk the earth. The world has never witnessed such yellow cowards. We've sat back and allowed the Jews to take over our government, and our banks, and our media. We've allowed tens of millions of foreign mud people to invade our country, oh. to steal our jobs and our women, and destroy our children's future. Wow. America is no longer ours. America belongs to the Jews who rule it and to the mud people who multiply oh. in it. Wow, the undeniable painful. proof is at davidduke.com. It's time for Jeez. white men to unite, to join together, and to take oh, our country back. That's right. To so join us on the web right, at VN. Can... Yeah. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Now, this is that's, not. That's painful to listen to. That's ugly. That's truly ugly. Right. I, that it, goes beyond what I even, even expected to hear. Yeah, I'd heard of the ad, I hadn't heard it. Yeah. And, and that goes beyond what I expected. Now there's, uh, wow. you, know, uh, you know, there's, I mean, there's a, there's a dozen of these, and they're unbelievable. I mean, that's that, ugly. You don't hear language like that, even from. Uh, uh. It, it's not that uh, sort of. Um, I mean, when he's going like, you know, like we've made fun of on the air of the person who's like, it blame the Jews for everything. You know, that's sort of like it's so it's almost so stereotypical. Mm -hmm. You don't even hear it anymore. But when you're going into, I mean. The other terms, I don't even, I don't even know if we I, could talk about I it, and know, I don't think I, don't, I feel I comfortable doing no. it. But it's like when you're talking about that stuff, you're way past, you're past normal racism at this point. You're beyond it. Let's look. Do we have another one here, Sarah? I mean, yeah, you're the Ku Klux Klan yeah. uh, territory there. Mm -hmm. That's hey, white man, <laughs> who controls the mass media? Yeah. It's the Jews. It's the Jews. Stupid. There's no greater power in the world today than the power held by those who control the media. Uh -huh. And that power is held by Jews. Billy Graham really? was right in 1972 when he said to Richard Nixon, unless the Jewish stranglehold on the media is broken, this country is going down the drain. <laughs> yes, the Jews control the media, and every politician in Washington knows it. Still wow. don't really? believe it, white man? Then go to G-O-V-N-N. -N. All right, you can tell that. It sounds like he just hates everybody, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's not including a whites. I mean, he's, he doesn't like himself very much. Yeah, he's uh, he seems to not like any other race, but he also doesn't like whites because they seem to like other I'm races. He's stupid, Stu, <laughs> to know what the hell's going on in the country. <laughs>
And you even close his advisor to Richard Nixon. Whenever you turn to wisdom, you turn to Richard Nixon. His advisor is for real. <laughs> All right, more, more audio here? Wow. How it's many can we take? Let's see how many we can take. All right. It's not the liberals or conservatives, and it's not the Republicans or Democrats. It's the Jews, stupid. <laughs> Jews control both the federal government and the media. Surely you don't uh, still believe white men are in control, uh, do you? No, I sure do. It's the Jews, stupid. <laughs> stupid. Why do you think stupid. the media demonizes white people? I don't know. Why do you think the government know. never rules in favor of white people? They don't, Why? really? I don't Why think do that's... both the government and the media support and incite more and more Jew wars for Israel? That wow. we pay for. Wow. And it's because both are controlled by Jews. <laughs> Jews are loyal to Israel. This not guy to has America. a very simplistic so understanding of things. <laughs> yeah, uh, doesn't he? I, I think he's saying he has any kind of understanding is a stretch. <gasps> yes. But why does he, I mean, if Jews control everything, mm -hmm. why are whites being written out of the equation? Because aren't most Jews white? I, you know, I don't know what the separation I mean, is there. I'm not. I am I'm not, not getting that, really. We're it's, stupid. That's why we're well, stupid. Well, you, you, I know you are stupid. <laughs> I know you're as stupid as they come. It was interesting. Stupid. Interesting in there as he, he was talking about uh, his policies, which are obviously well thought out, and he really oh, put a lot of time yeah. into it. And he does have a political goals section on the website, which mm -hmm. I decided to go to because I noticed in that ad uh, what, his only policy so far, other than he doesn't like Jews... Stop uh, the Jew wars? Right, is stop the Jew wars, yeah. which is interesting. He sees uh, Afghanistan and Iraq as... Are uh, those Jew wars? Jew wars, wars that we are doing because Jews control things. Okay. And I wanted to see if this guy, if you consider this guy on the right or on the left, because certainly he's painted as evil right-wing racist guy. Mm -hmm. But listen to the policies here, and you tell me, Pat, which one is which. All right. You've got... Uh, uh, the number one po number one initiative from this guy to bring American troops home from Iraq, Afghanistan, and dozens of other countries, and to station at least two hundred fifty thousand on our southern border to stop the invasion uh, from South America. So there, you'd have a pro border control stance and bring all the troops home. I guess you're split on that, right? Yeah. You'd have, I mean, yeah, you'd have just both left and right. Right. Uh, number two to uh, establish strictly enforced federal laws that will imprison uh, American employers who knowingly hire illegal aliens. Another border thing, we'll mm -hmm. give that two to one on the right. Mm -hmm. um, to provide each family of illegal aliens with a lump sum payment of $2,500 each. What? Well, that's it's a giveaway to illegal aliens. Apparently this guy wants legal aliens to get $2,500 from the government. We, we pay them to what? To leave? Is I, that what he's saying? And free transportation back to their native countries. Okay. So you give them 2500 bucks and you say go home. Right, but, the, the, but giving illegal aliens twenty five hundred dollars—it's kind of a reward for sneaking in. Illegal, I don't think it I'm would be. I'm gonna go left on that one. I'm gonna let, at least partially. I think yeah. we're—I think we're at two to two here. Uh, to establish affirmative action laws for white Americans. Well, affirmative action—I'm not for. I, again, left, when you're talking, left. yeah, that's a left-wing position. Again, because it's for white Americans, everyone says racism equals right. But I don't want affirmative action for anyone. No. So I, I would either. say that's left-wing. Mm -hmm. This is uh, fun. So three, two, left. <laughs> yeah. To bring about federal proclamation, federal proclamation history month. No one wants white history. Although, again, I wouldn't want any category to have a history month. No. So, but you can argue that. Uh, to abolish all laws that prohibit white people from establishing and living and working inside white areas and neighborhoods. I don't think there are any. Oh, there were any. I don't think there uh, are any. Maybe that's, that's just a stupid policy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to pass federal laws at producing a fair and equal distribution of America mass media outlets. This is decentralizing media ownership. That is a that's left, left wing. That's free press. It's that's left. right out of the left wing playbook. That's four two. Yeah, four two. Now again, he's doing it because he doesn't like Jews, but still, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's still, the same policy. Right. I will work with all Gentile representatives and all Gentile civil rights groups to expose Jewish domination of the U.S. government. I don't think that's either. Uh, you know, but uh, you know, certainly. Uh, the evil. Uh, there are certainly a lot on the left who don't like the influence of uh, Israel on our government. I don't right. think that really fits, though. <laughs> Number nine, to establish and strictly enforce laws that will effectively, uh, effectively combat and severely punish the purveyors of Jewish produced filth. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish produced <laughs> filth. Obviously, it's like it's this, it's this mainstream issue that everyone will understand. It's Jewish produced filth. <laughs> <laughs> you not get that? That's <laughs> wow. Um, but that, that, and he's talking. I guess <laughs> wow. I guess pornography and degeneracy in the mass media. So I guess you'd go with that. It's a right wing position. All right. Uh, to cut off all Four, American three. aid to Israel. That's left. Clearly a left wing Five, position. Um, to abolish the Fed. Okay. 
Right. Um, although he does qualify this by saying, or if you don't abolish the Fed, it 